Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the membership option in VP Residence team. The team allows admin to charge his users for submitting properties on his domain. The admin will have three options for property submission, which he will be able to manage from team options, membership. The options available are free submission. In this case, the admin will need to set enable paid submission to no and the users will be able to submit properties for free. The second option is pair listing. In this case, the user will need to pay for each property submitted and the admin will need to set the price for regular listings and for featured ones. The third option is membership. This means that admin will create membership packages with a certain number of regular properties and featured ones and the user will purchase that package. We recommend to decide from the beginning if you want to have paid submission or membership submission. In this video I will show how to manage the membership option. So I will start with the settings that admin needs to apply. I have membership option saved. And now I will make the settings for free membership. Each new account gets a free membership at registration and the admin will decide if he wants to include free listings. In this section, admin will make all settings for free membership. He will be able to add a fixed number of listings included or he will be able to offer unlimited listings for new users. In this case, he will need to tick this checkbox and the value added here will not apply anymore. Also, admin will be able to set the number of featured listings. The admin will also be able to set the expiring period for the free membership listings. Here he will need to add the number of days until a free listing will expire. The number of days added here will apply for each property. The next option refers to the images that can be added for each listing allowed under free membership. Here you will need to add a number. The next option refers to admin approval. If set to yes, admin will need to review and publish manually each property submitted in front end. The next options will apply for payments regardless if the admin has selected pair listings or membership. Here you can set sandbox or live. Sandbox is used for test. Here you can select the payments currency. And these are the options for wire transfer payment method. The settings for membership are done. The next step is for admin to decide on the payment method that he will wish to use. The team has available wire transfer, PayPal, WooCommerce or Stripe. PayPal and Stripe will support recurring option, but WooCommerce will be only non-recurring. After a payment is set, admin will need to create membership packages. I will create a new package that we will use later in this video for test. The first step is to add the membership package title. I will add standard. And now I will explain what each package detail means. The first one, billing time unit. Here you can select between day, week, month or year. This will be the time unit measurement for the package. Here you will need to select the number of time units for the package. For example, I will set month as time unit and here add two. This means that my package will be available for two months and after this period, the package will expire. Next, you will need to set how many listings are included. Here you can add a fixed number or set it to have unlimited listings. Next you will need to select the number of listings that can be done featured. Next, how many images are included per listing? I will add 10. Now the price for the package, I will add 10. Next, you will be able to select for which user type the package will be visible. I will select all of them, but you can create packages only for agents or only for agency or developers. 
Next, you can set if the package will be visible or not on front end. This option is useful when admin will retire a package. He will not delete the package, just set visible to no, and users who have the package will not be affected, and new ones will not be able to purchase it anymore. And the second field is related to Stripe payment. If you decide to use Stripe payment, then the package will need to be linked in your Stripe API. I will show the steps that you need to take to link your package in Stripe. This is my test Stripe account. To link the package, I will need to go to products. I will add the package name. You can add a description if you wish. I will keep standard pricing. Here I will add the package price and press save product. I will need to copy this ID into my membership package. I will update. And now the setup is complete. Now I will show how the agent manages the packages. I will create a new account. You can see that the agent I just created has free membership by default and all the settings made in team options apply. Now to purchase a new package, the agent needs to select the package that he wants to purchase and press the payment button. For PayPal and Stripe, the team has the option to make the payment recurring. This means that if this option is ticked, once the package will expire, the amount will be withdrawn from his Stripe account or PayPal one and the package will be automatically renewed. I will make the payment with Stripe. I have now the standard package with 10 listings included and 5 featured listings included, which will expire in 2 months. I also have a button to cancel my Stripe subscription. The multiple package purchases will not sum, so if the agent will need to have more listings available, he will need to purchase a new package with more listings included. But once the new package is purchased, the old one will not apply anymore. Now I will add a new property to show that the listings will be deducted from your package. You can see that the new property was deducted from standard package and only nine listings are remaining. Since admin has enabled the option to approve listings, the status of the property will be waiting for approval. To approve the listing, admin will need to go to properties. He will see here beautiful villa with pending status. Admin will need to edit the property and press publish button. On refresh, the property will show as published. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notification on new videos.